Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you um, real quick how to easy make a bread while on a passage, on a sailboat or just like we are right now on an anchorage. Um, I had to figure out how to make uh, Swiss bread especially. It's called Zopf in Switzerland and we sometimes have it on Sundays mostly and I really miss that kind of um, bread. <laughs> Um, all we need is like 100 grams of um, butter. You heat it up just a little bit, not too much. And then um, we use half a liter milk. You can use whatever um, kind of milk you like. Mostly we make it with oat milk or, um, or almond milk. But since we run out of almost everything, we have the good old cow milk. And um, what I do instead of half a liter of um, the regular milk, I mix a little bit of um, fresh cream because this one is still open. As soon as your butter is, has melted, you can turn off the stove and then put in the milk. And then you also put in, just for the yeast, you put in a little bit of sugar. Not too much. I mean, if you like it sweet, you can put in some more, but we normally don't. That's why we only have the small sugars we um, take with us from the restaurant. <laughs> And I really like to uh, bake my bread with fresh yeast, but I don't have any here, so the good old um, dry yeast uh, will do it. So I just pour it in here, so we can uh, start working with the warm milk. Here in Italy, I even found a flour especially for like sweeter bread, but you can really use any kind of white flour. So we need um, half a kilo. It's already half a kilo because I used the other half. I always use a sieve because you never know, especially on a boat, what kind of creatures um, might be in your flour as well, but everything's fine. And then uh, I use a little bit of salt. Okay, and next we pour in the mixture we have. You start making your dough. And there comes your daily workout. Because you should do that for at least 10 to 15 minutes until your dough is really smooth. Until your dough is really smooth. Until your dough is really smooth. <laughs> and ladies, if you have a man around, let him do the hard work. And after he did that for 15 minutes straight, you can put it back in your container. Then use a fresh kitchen towel, make it wet a little bit and put it on top. Then you can simply let it sit for about one and a half hours till it, uh, it's about twice its size. There you go. Then you take it out of the box and 
and then you form it to a roll. If your dough is a little bit sticky, you can still use some um, flour to put it on the table so it doesn't stick too much. So that's about the size we want to have. And then you take a Teflon coated frying pan and make a very nice Koru logo. There you go. Then you put on the lid and then you let it sit for another 30 to 60 minutes um, in a cool place. So what I do, I put it in our cooler we have outside. So now what I do, I just use a little bit of coconut oil you can use whatever you like maybe if your pan is good enough you don't have to use any and I just put a few drops around the bread you can also shake it from time to time so to make sure it doesn't stick and you can flip it over after um, half time I think I, I leave mine maybe 35 to 40 minutes it depends how crossed and golden you like your um, bread to be what I do to make sure it's all done um, I knock on it and it, when it gets a, a little hollow sound then it's all good I always let my bread cool off in the pan a little bit so to keep it moist There you go. Best to enjoy with honey or hazelnut cream, peanut butter and jam, whatever you like best. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video and let me know how you fix your bread in the comment section below. And if you even learned something, please consider subscribing to our channel and leave a comment. Check out our other boat hack videos for useful and also absolutely useless hacks.